Hi girls! So um, this little demo is all about wrap removal. Um, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way I've found since I've been um, using Jamboree. Um, I confess I was a serial nail peeler when I first started out and actually for quite a while. Um, lucky for me my nails held tough and they were fine but not everyone is as lucky. Um, so it's really important to take care of your nails um, and I'm going to give you the best advice that you can do that with, okay? Um, so never, never, never peel your gems, but it's easy to say that, but um, I'm going to show you, you know, the best, quickest, easiest alternative. Um, there are a ton of different removal methods out there online. Um, you can just type in Jamboree removal into Google and I'm sure you can find something that you like. But if you are like me and you like um, quick and easy, then this is the one for you. So what you will need is wraps already applied. <laughs> um, if you can see, these are a week old and they're still quite nice but I just received my style box um, and there's some really pretty wraps in there that I'm just eager to get on my hands so I'm removing these earlier than I needed to. Um, for those of you who don't know what Stylebox is, it's a monthly subscription that goes straight to your door so you can do it month by month, three months, six months or twelve months um, and you get two exclusive wraps each month. You get to choose from six. And um, you can also add on. So if you're smart about it, you can add on your own um, other wraps and gels to the box um, each month. And that means you never have to pay for postage, which is awesome. And it also includes fresh application tools each month. And um, they often give out goodies as well. So in this one, I got a... Um, little handbag size hand cream so that'll be really handy um but they also do things like jewelry other wraps lacquers gels um i think they've done notebooks they've done all sorts of things in the past so and i think it's most months too so that's a bit exciting it only just launched in australia um anyway back to removal so if you put your wraps on say a day or two ago and you need to get them off for work or a special occasion or something, heat them up first, okay, that's your first step um, because that'll soften the glue a little bit and make it a little bit easier for you. If they've been on a week or more like mine have, you can get started straight away. What you'll need is an orange stick, or something sharp, okay. Um, this is wrap and lacquer remover. We do sell it, but if you've just got nail polish remover at home, that's fine. You don't need the acetone kind. Non-acetone is perfectly fine. This is non-acetone. Um, you don't need anything nasty to get them off, okay? Um, I like this little bottle because, well, the functionality of it really. So basically, you push down on it for it to come up, and then if you open the lid... I'm not to spill it on my computer. <laughs> I don't know if you can see there, my little brush in there. There's um, all the remover in the little bowl on the top there. And then that'll slowly go back down into the bottle so I don't waste any as well. If you get one of these, remember to keep the lid closed while you push it down. I've squirted it in my eye like three times now. Not the best idea. I'm still, I can still see, but <laughs> it's not fun washing it out. Okay, so you need orange stick, remover, and if you have one of these lying around the house, perfect. If not, something like this will do just as fine as well. That's what I was using originally when I found this method, um, but since we have evolved and paintbrushes are the bomb for removal. Okay, so like I said, if you just put them on, heat them up first. If you haven't, and it's like mine, we can move on the first step. So first step is using your orange stick or something sharp to lift the side of the wrap. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and put you closer to the camera. See how I'm just lifting up the edge there? Just putting it slightly underneath. 
Okay, so that's just breaking my seal on the edge. I might just bring you down so you can see a little bit better. All right, so I've broken my seal. That's step one. If I go any further than, you know, like a millimeter off the side, then that is peeling my gems and it's not good. Okay, step two, put your paintbrush or your cuticle pusher or whatever you've got into the remover. So the paintbrush holds it a lot better and that's why I like that best. Um, and then I'm just going, going to go back and forth underneath where I've lifted it. You can see I'm already halfway off. Just back and forth, back and forth. You can re-dip if you need to. Paintbrushes generally don't need to be re-dipped. And voila, it's fallen off. Okay, then I grab my paper towel. Yeah, paper towel. Dip that in the remover and give it a quick wipe so that there's no residue whatsoever there. So there's my wrap and there's my nail. Nice, clean, healthy nail. And that's it. It's done. Okay, so like I said, I like quick and easy. That's a quick and easy option. You don't have to use nasty chemicals. Non-acetone is fine. Um, if you really want to get in there and nourish your nails at the same time, you could use coconut oil, but you'll need to sit there and soak them for a while. Um, if that's something that interests you, please comment below and I will get some details on the coconut oil option. But you can also use cuticle oil after you've done it this way or strengthening base coat as well, um, just to give your nails a refresh if, say, you've been using shellac or had acrylics for a really long time and your nails are pretty damaged, um, I can definitely help you with nail care as well. But if you've just been using wraps like me, that simple one is perfect. Okay, have a good night.